Hey everybody, just wanted to take a couple minutes to explain what you need to do to complete journal three for this week. Take a look here. All right, so um, remember, you'll want to set a timer for yourself and type nonstop for eight to 10 minutes. You definitely want to start on topic with the prompt that you're given here, but if you eventually go off topic before the timer is up, that's okay. Remember, if you start on topic and it's clear that you have tried to go for that eight to 10 minutes and you have a nice, good, thorough response typed up, you'll get 10 out of 10 points. If you don't really provide a thorough response. It's clear you didn't type for the eight, 10 minutes. If it's just a handful of sentences, you'll get a five out of 10 with the option of redoing it so that you can gain back the point. And if you submit something that never even touches the prompt that you've been given, doesn't even, doesn't even address it, no matter how short or long <laughs> your response is, if it has nothing to do with what you were actually supposed to write about, you'll get a zero out of 10. And again, with the option of being able to redo it. Okay. Your prompt for this week is list three things you look for in a good shopping experience. Literally, first thing you'll do, first thing you will type is a list of three things you look for in a good shopping experience. And it can be anything from grocery shopping to clothing shopping to car shopping, et cetera. So, you know, depending on what you want to do. So like, okay, I go grocery shopping all the time. What are the three things I look for in a good grocery shopping experience? I look for um, organized shelves. I look for helpful employees. And I look for good deal, good sale, right? Or if you decide you're going to go with a clothing shopping experience, list the three things you look for in that type of experience. You're going to go with car shopping, electronic shopping, right? Jewelry shopping. <laughs> what are, just list the three things you look for. Then after you have typed that list, you're going to pick a specific location, a specific store, and you're going to explain how it measures up in those three things you look for. So again, using grocery shopping, right? Um, I'm gonna talk about Kroger, or maybe I'm gonna talk about Walmart, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick, I'm gonna pick Kroger. And I'm going to then the rest of my response after my list, my, the rest of my response will be a lengthy paragraph that explains how Kroger is all, always has organized shelves. And then I'm going to talk about how Kroger always has helpful employees. And then I'm going to talk about how Kroger always has good deals, good sales. Or maybe I'm going to talk about how Kroger never have organized shelves, the employees are never helpful, and their sales and deals really aren't that great. I can talk about a negative experience if I want, but either way, list three things you look for in a good shopping experience, and then pick a specific store that you are familiar with and explain how it measures up in all three of those things, or explain how it fails in all three of those things, right? Okay. Again, set the timer for eight to 10 minutes. Start on topic. It's okay if you go off topic. This could be a potential topic for writing assignment one evaluation paragraph in week five. So the more ideas that you get out here in the journal, the more ideas you might have to work with if you decide to choose this as your topic for that assignment. And in my feedback on this journal, 
I will actually tell you if you were on a right enough track that this would be a good topic to choose. So again, better you do on this, the more ideas you get out, the more closely you adhere to the prompt, you're setting yourself up to, to make that first writing assignment paragraph a little bit easier when you get to week five. All right, so try to have this in by Sunday. If you have questions or run into any problems, definitely reach out. Otherwise, we're free to go ahead and get started.